So you're here to help us, Mistios? You don't look like a monger spy. I'm more the in-your-face type. You have a monger problem, Damalis? I might. One of my regulars has changed. He was a decent man once, but now he's gone bad. Corinth seems to have a shortage of decent people. I need someone with muscle to figure out what's behind the change. Why he's different. He's gotten you scared. He asks me questions I don't know the answers to about our Drachmi. Where we keep money, what Anthusa invests in. As though we're Athenian aristocrats. Can't Anthusa intervene? I'm not naive. I won't expose the others to this. So he can go after them next? He might anyway. Sounds like he needs answers. Who was he before all this? Obsessive, but never threatening. He didn't stand out in symposiums until he had his Drachmi act for him. Well, something sure giving him courage now. I'll see what he has to say for himself. If he's not lurking around here, he'll be at his house. I want this to end today. It will. People tend to show their true selves to my spear, whether they like it or not. You found me! Shh! What are you doing here? I heard the Malis talking about her crazy client earlier, and I wanted to help. You may be right. I could use you. See? That was my plan all along. I'm going to talk to Damalis' client and see what he has to say. I've been here, spying, and I heard him mumbling to himself. He's weird. But maybe if I tell you what he said, it could help? Let's hear it. Let me think. Um, he said something about having to meet someone at Faye's pig farm tonight. That could help. It could. Did he mention why? To get something from them. A deed to some land, I think he said. Well, that's something. What else? Oh, he said their name. Dinomenes. Wonder who that is. Good to know. Thank you, Phoebe the Spy. Not bad, huh? Time to act. Listen closely. You sneak inside and see what you can find in his house while I distract him. Quiet like a mouse. Good. But if you get caught, run. Right out the door. We'll meet afterwards. Promise? I'm ready. Let's go. What is this? A lock of hair. <gasps> Smells familiar somehow. Oh. Chains. Oil. This can't be what I think it is. All right, you little shit. Who sent you?
What are you doing here? I wanted to help. Give her here. Leave Phoebe, now! Don't take another step. You're brave coming here. You want a whipping? The monger would love to take you on. He'd rot in the underworld for that. Prude, this is Corinthia. Anything goes in this sexandron, and the monger will be satiated. You're as sick as he is, worm. Whether they like it or not, any victim he likes gets his special treatment. I'll tell him you volunteer. You'll get my special treatment right now. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Alexios, your little friend beat you back. You made it. And fast. I know all the shortcuts now. I'm sorry, Alexios. It's all right. You had good intentions. I thought I could sneak in, like before. I'm glad you didn't, especially with what I found there. What happened to you? I just left the monger's sex, Andron, if you can believe it. And it's where you were headed. No. It's true. Your client was being forced to take you there. And we found these. What does this mean? It means the monger got to him. He does have his hand in everything. At least I know how to deal with him now that I know what he's after. You won't have to. I took care of him myself. I told Alexios he shouldn't have. <sighs> it had to come to this. Malaka, what a fool he was! The monger's the real fool. He'll find that out soon enough. Oh. <laughs> Your plan seemed to work. The mongers' thugs ambushed me. I heard. I also heard you had no problems dealing with them. It wasn't my first fight in Corinth. Or your last. We're going to take the monger to task at the theater. I've arranged a Corinthian drama no one will forget. Rasidas is worried about the anarchy that could follow the monger's death. He wants him dead, but wants it done quietly. That man is a long way from Sparta. This is Corinthia, so we'll do it the Corinthian way. I agree with Vrasidas. I say we take him to the sacred cave. This isn't what we planned. The monger needs to be erased from existence. We'll fight him in a private place, and he'll die. A simple transaction. Remember? If you insist, we'll meet you at the sacred cave.
So it is you, a demigod in the soot and shit streets of Corinth, killing my men, helping those fucking parasites? That's me. Ah, arrogant! Just like your mother! You'll never rule these streets, you pig! Oh, you bet your pretty face I will! Get your filthy hands! And when I do, I'll rip your fucking head right off! And send it to the cult as proof! What? You knew? Oh, I fucking knew her all right. She was big fucking trouble. But I'll pay her back. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna find your mother and bring her your fucking head. Themos will wish she was watching this. Not if I bring her yours first. Get the fuck out of my city. It's not yours anymore. Get the fuck off my streets. You're going to fight me? You're no. fucking crazy! You! You might be able to challenge me! Barely!
just don't know when to quit. Die before you bleed all over me. Wish I could have been there to watch Thebos break your neck. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Wait! No! The people of Corinth must see him die! Anthusa! Take him out of here and bring him to the theater! Show everyone his cowardice! No! We wanted him dead. Here he is. It's a shame the people don't get to see him bleed. His cries should have rung out across the city. He's dead. I've delivered. Your turn. Yes, you're right. He's dead. Take his body to the square. Let the people get a last good look at him. As for you, Alexios, I owe you information. We'll talk about your mother, just not here. I can't give you enough thanks for what you've done. <laughs> and for once, I can also thank Alcibiades. He sent you here, after all. <laughs> there is more to him than meets the eye. He knew you could save Corin from that beast. Everybody benefits, everybody wins. You've proven to be a very valuable business partner. Speaking of business, you owe me, Anthusa. Yes, Mirini. She came and left Corinthia in a flurry, but made an impression on me. Like a great storm. I remember that part of her well. A strong woman with great intensity. She wanted to find her place here in Corinth, but never found what she was looking for. You speak of her kindly. You were her friend. Perhaps, on the surface. But she had a great pain in the middle of her that no one could get to. How did you come to know her? There was so much rain that night. I saw her, sleeping in the streets and gave her shelter. She was a vagrant? I wonder what my father would think of that. I didn't know what happened to her. All she told me was that she'd left the place that tore her apart. Sparta. Was there no mention of her past? A husband, a family? Nothing. Speaking of Sparta only brought her misery. It's like a part of her was missing. After Corinth, where did she go? That? I don't know. She must have given you some hint. I don't think even she knew where she was headed. All I know is she won a ship thanks to a lucky dice throw. Tihi owed her that much, at least. I remember the ship's name well. Siren Song. Siren Song? It was famous for weathering all that Poseidon threw in its path. Thank you, Anthusa. May the gods look well upon you, Alexios. Visit me anytime. I'll catch you up on Gordon's affairs. It seems I have an interesting future ahead of me. So do I. Siren Sophie. If 
I can find someone who knows the ship, I'll be one step. Closer to finding her. I should have enough information now. I should head back to Athens to see Aspasia.